It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. If you remember recently, I reviewed a bottle of Proper Job after 11 years of reviewing it previously on YouTube. Now, as it happened, I've kind of stumbled across a, a new feature on the channel, a new direction I can take the channel, a new mini series, if you like, of me having not reviewed a beer for over 10 years. I have a look at the YouTube channel when I first reviewed it, work out the date. Um, the beer I have today is 11 years. It's 11 years since I reviewed it last. But the first beer was a St. Austell proper job because a mate um, lived in, in the lane up there was kind enough to give me a bottle of beer. And he found out what I did. I haven't seen him since school. And he gave me this bottle of beer to, as, a, as a thank you, really, uh, for... for all the years we haven't been, you know, talking to each other and, and, and that now he's found an out like on a YouTube channel and, and it's doing a little bit okay. Um, so then uh, we got another St. Austell Brewery beer to follow up on. And it's a complete coincidence how this has happened because a friend come here, um, he brought four big cans of, of St. Austell's Tribute Pale Ale and we didn't get round to drinking them so he left them in the fridge he said enjoy them enjoy them so i thought to myself let's open up the computer let's have a look and and see how long it's been since i reviewed tribute and it's been 11 years it's 4.2 percent abv it's in a big 500 milliliter can let's get it out into a glass see what we get <clears throat> Now, back in the day, when I reviewed this first and foremost, you couldn't buy this beer in Wales. You certainly couldn't buy it in a can. You certainly couldn't buy it in a supermarket. It was a case of speaking to St. Austell, who were a small brewery at the time, and asking them if they would kindly send me up some beers to review. That's how I used to kind of get by with this YouTube channel is to politely ask brewers would they be willing to send some samples for me to review. Um, they agreed. It was, I remember really enjoying it. I remember loving Tribute. Really, really enjoying it when it, 11 years ago. I, I, I do remember the review in my kitchen just behind you. Um, I think I gave it something like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. I was thoroughly kind of overawed by this beer but I have had it since because it's in lots of different supermarkets and my mate likes to drink it so he always offers me a can I have had it since and I think it's changed slightly since I first reviewed it so let's get into it then we got a one finger white head slow moving carbonation amber in color let's get the aroma Yeah, it's more of a, I'd say it's more of a best bitter these days. It used to be really hoppy. It used to, the hops used to jump out of the of the bottle back in the day into your nose. And now, now it's not quite, it's got more of a best bitter, malty, biscuity aroma to it. Which is a little shame, I suppose. Let's dive in. Oh, it's a million miles. It's a million miles from what it used to be. A million miles. Um, it's a real shame. It's a real shame because I thought Proper Job was outstanding. I thought Proper Job was a terrific example of an IPA, especially in the supermarkets. Being able to pick it up at your local small Tesco Extra, three bottles for a fiver, I thought it was terrific. But this... It's definitely changed. It's changed for the worse because, it, I, I mean, if you want to watch the previous review of me reviewing St. Ossel's Tribute, then I was jumping for joy for this beer, but it's just the best bitter now. And it's probably a little bit like, and there's nothing wrong with London Pride. There's nothing wrong with this beer, but it's, it tastes like London Pride now. It 
it's lost all of that wonderful, magnificent hop aroma and taste. I remember marmalades and grapefruits and it was mixed in with this kind of darker beard. It was definitely this colour. So you'd have all those wonderful American hops, but combined with like biscuit malts and it had a lovely balance to it. And it was really flavoursome and lovely. Oh, this, uh, I mean, if you handed this to me at a, at a barbecue, uh, I'd sit and quite happily drink it. I would probably shrug my shoulders a little bit if somebody asked me what it was like and I'd go, it's okay. But I, I wouldn't be doing, I, I wouldn't be jumping for joy like I once did with, with how good Tribute used to be. It's definitely changed. Definitely changed. They're even saying that it has hops from the UK and the USA. Not, I mean, I mean they might, but... They're describing it as zesty and fresh. It used to be really zesty. It used to be terrifically zesty, this beer. It's a real shame. And I suppose let's let's talk about it. It's it's a case of success. St. Austell have become a very, very successful brewery in the UK. They really have. They're still independent. But with success comes a decline in the quality of your beer, unfortunately. The bigger the brewery gets, the more they rein in on the quality and they... It's, it's a trait in British brewing, I would say. It's a, a trait of 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 the further and the better the brewer would go the more they would rein in on their quality i mean just look at brew dogs punk ipa for if you want an example of what a beer used to taste like compared to what it tastes like today it's a completely different beer and so so too is tribute unfortunately this tribute is a completely different beer to the beer that i once fondly remembered this now probably sits on the shelf along the lines of abbot ale green king ipa fuller's london pride where it's acceptable beer you're not going to pour it away there's no bad smells there's no off flavors everything's doing what it should do but it's just a bit boring. Shame really, shame really, but there we go, I'm gonna rate it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say from where Tribute was to where Tribute is now, this is a five out of 10. A five out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.